APA 7th edition provides specific guidelines for some commonly used nursing resources. In this video, we'll talk about the guidelines for citing up-to-date articles, clinical practice guidelines, Cochrane systematic reviews, and mobile app reference works, such as Davis's Drug Guide. You can find these guidelines in your 7th edition APA manual. Also, all of this information, as well as details on citing drug information and lab or diagnostic manuals, can be found on the APA style website under Clinical Practice References. Let's start with up to date articles. Articles from up to date follow the basic format for citing periodicals. Because up to date resources are available only within that database and are frequently updated, your reference will need to include the name of the database and a retrieval date. This is the basic format for an up-to-date citation. Authors' names are listed, last name first initials. The date element should be the year of last update. The title of the article is written in sentence case. After the article title, the name of the database, up-to-date, is written in italics. Next is the retrieval date. This is the date that you retrieved or viewed the article, not the date it was last updated. After the date, there is a comma, the word from, and the URL. Let's use this article in UpToDate as an example. The author's name can be found here and will be written Palmore TN. The date last updated gives us the date element, 2020. The title of the article is here, and it is already written in sentence case. I'm viewing this article on August 26, 2020, and I can find the URL at the top of my browser. The reference for this article would look like this. Next, let's look at clinical practice guidelines. These follow the general format for a website citation, but the elements will vary depending on whether the guideline has a group author or individual authors. We'll look at a clinical practice guideline with a group author in this video. You can find guidance on individual authors on the APA style website under clinical practice references. Check to see if the guideline you're citing has both a committee and an agency author or just an agency author. If there is a committee author, the committee goes in the author element of the reference and the agency goes in the source element. If there is only an agency author, the agency goes in the author element. The title of the guideline is italicized in sentence case. The name of the website where the guideline was retrieved goes next, unless the website name is the same as the name of the author, in which case it can be omitted. The URL is the final piece of the citation. Let's use this CDC guideline as an example. The agency is the only author listed, so we'll use Centers for Disease Control and Prevention as our author. The date is the year of the last update. The title of the guideline is currently in title case, not sentence case, so we'll need to change it and italicize it in the citation. The name of the website is the same as our author, so we won't list it. Finally, the URL is at the top of the browser. Our final citation will look like this. Cochrane systematic reviews are cited similarly to journal articles. Because they are available only within the Cochrane database of systematic reviews, we need to include the name of the database in our reference. If the version of the review you're using doesn't have a volume and issue number, you can omit that from your reference, but if you do see one, make sure to include it as you would with any journal article citation. This is a PDF of a Cochrane review found in UWO Library's Cochrane database of systematic reviews. If we scroll down to the bottom of the first page, we can see all the information we need in our citation. The authors are here. In APA 7th edition, we include up to 20 authors in our references, so we will include all of these authors. The date is here. The title is here, already written in sentence case. This review has a volume, issue, and article number, as well as a DOI. 
our citation would look like this. Finally, you may need to cite a mobile app reference work, such as Davis's Drug Guide. Your citation will need the authors, publication year, title and edition for the reference work, as well as the version number of the app and the name of the app's publisher or the app store where it was downloaded. You may need to visit the publisher's website or the app store to find all of these elements for your citation. If you have questions about citing sources in APA, you can contact me, Erin MacArthur, at mcarthue at uwosh.edu, or use the Ask the Librarian resources on the library homepage. Thanks for watching.